Do you want the coolest Dodge in town? I mean, the coolest. The Dually Club Cab. Oh, baby, with the 440 big block. This is it. One on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a absolutely beautiful 1976 Dodge D30. It's actually a Club Cab 300. I think these were a D series back in this day and age. Got the 440 motor. This is an absolutely gorgeous truck. It's got a little bit of patina all over it, man. The rust is down to a minimum. There's just a couple tiny little spots, and I'll show you up close. Just not really much to talk about at all. Um, this thing is a super clean California rig. It actually hasn't even been registered since 1991. I'm going to do a quick once around and kind of show you. Man, people just seem to want to call me the minute I start doing a video. I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, well. Mr. Call. They're just going to be out of luck. Okay, so that's going around it. Love the white sticker decal paint or whatever it is on it. And used to have some things going down the side. And I'm going to just do this once around and let you see what it looks like. And then we'll go up close, look at any damage, dents, dings, tears. You can see a tear right there in the fiberglass fender. It is the dually and it is the club cab, which is super cool. Buckets with a console. Buckets with a console. Now, I was told it's a one owner truck. It's a barn fine truck. That's for sure. It was found in a barn up in Ventura, California. And this truck is just absolutely gorgeous. If you're interested, you can call me, Nathan, 406-546-8748. You can also check it out on my website, oneownercarguy.com. should be about 50 to 80 pictures of it on there. I just want to interject to say that a Mopar was harmed during the filming of this video. This right here, man. Just going by the trailer and just, just a little bit of a swipe. Probably the worst thing in this truck. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. But now that ding and this little ding is in it with a slight little smudge to the grill. And this may be just a slight little hair, but I don't know if I was from before with this one or if I just didn't notice. Just throwing that in because that happened. It never happens around here, but it sure did happen. And other than that, subscribe to my channel. I do all kinds of videos every week. Look at that peel out on Straight Mercedes Benz wagon right there, baby. That is Mercedes Benz wagon peel out right there. Okay, let's show you underneath and get to doing this review. Front plate is bent and that could easily be fixed and pulled out underneath it. Man, this thing is dry. It's not leaking all over. It's a nice clean rig. You can see just from the bottom of that oil pan. This is a nice clean rig. It's got cobwebs and stuff. We haven't really knocked it all off there too good. And you see grease in it, just on the zerts for the things. This is one clean truck, man. It's clean. The chrome, pfft, look at that chrome. It is clean, it is really clean. Beautiful shape, there's a ding, bend, or whatever you want to call it, in this bumper. The pot metal, aluminum, whatever it is, grill is in good shape. A couple dings in it, here and there. Here and there and there and here. Just stuff like that. The black, of course, is just fading over time like it does on all of these. Um, but the grill is in great shape. Um, I'd fix it up, paint the ring, shine it up. Done! This truck, I had a hard time figuring out what I would do with it. What would you do with it? Leave it patinaed out? Or stink and paint this thing and make it beautiful? I even thought back to original color. With white stripes and Dodge signs and stuff. Undercoating and everything on it. Look at that, man. Just a nice truck. Clean! So clean. No rust in these fenders at all. Look at this. Beautiful. Little rock chips and such. Now, you can see the patina on the edges. Just a patina, a little ding right there. Patina all over the hood. No rust through in anything anywhere, except you get over here. And right along this piece on the hood, that's your rust on the hood, right there. Stinking weld that thing up, grind that thing down, skim coat it, done. A couple dings, kinda right there maybe. You're bringing that out. Um, and then these little spots right here. Must have set underneath a, something and got wet at some point. Uh, but that's that, that's all you got on the front. I think it's machine, machine? Yeah, it's machine. The rain drip molding type stuff here around the wiper surround or whatever you want to call it. You got some choices to make. You take these things off or do you get some big old dual antennas whipping in the wind? 
I don't know. But that's going to be a choice you're going to have to make. Because I don't got to make it. Because honestly, it was really getting to me to have to make this choice. Uh, mirrors. Let's talk about mirrors. In fact, let's just leave. That's it. I'm out of here. I'm not doing this review. I got stuff over here. Let's see what we got. You see the roll bar on the truck? I got all kinds of stuff too, by the way. All kinds of stuff. Okay, I got some extra stuff here. And I'll definitely give you one of those. Um, I got this bumper guard here. I thought there was mirrors. Okay, I walked over here. Here we go. We got a couple sets. These don't go with that, but I think they're set up for it. I think these, wow, look at that. That's a serious mirror. So I don't know what mirrors you want. These could be the original ones, but I don't know if I've got both of these things. I don't know. I got a, a bunch of mirrors and I got that extra tail light piece there. And that'll just get thrown in. I got this piece to go over the, the back also, diamond plate. So that's that. That's, that's the deal on that. This is the, the peel out bins of the future. So now back to the Dodge. And you can see you got the roll bar stuff in the uh, top of that up there. Man, this thing looks so nice painted out. Just this factory color with white accents and white roll bars and stuff. Ooh, buddy. Okay, right back where we, we are right back where we started. So, door, patina type stuff everywhere around the surrounds. Doors open nice. Roof, great shape. Patina everywhere. Basically no paint left. Clearance lights. A little bit of chippage on the edge of these. But you gotta have clearance lights if you got a one ton, right? That's just, is that a rule somewhere? Is it in the driver's manual? I think it is. Um, tinting starting to come off the, so I don't know if this is factory tinting or added, I have no clue. I'm guessing added. I'm thinking they did something right here because there's kind of a line. It looks like they kind of primered it a little bit and we're gonna do something and they just never did, which now is just perfect to leave. Look at how clean that is. Honestly, I believe they must have done something here because there's a little bit of, looks like there's a little bit of prime on this stuff. It almost looks like they started to do something. I don't know, I have no clue. Hole in it right here. I don't know if it's drilled for something or what, but it's an actual hole, it's not rust or anything. Um, chip in the fender there. And underneath this thing, it's just clean. This is one clean truck. Big rear end, buddy. This guy just put a set of tires on this thing. He was telling me about, look at them new front tires, and he sure did. Um, these things have just been put on there. Little titties everywhere, just little titties everywhere. He just put them on. Um, look at that tread. Look at that tread! Give me some expensive tires. Now these here, plenty of tread, just put on and all that, but they got a little dry rot in the edges. So I don't know if you go with the same type, type of wheels or with the chrome rims, rings, or what you do. That's what you're dealing with there. Um, looks like this is just a little bit of something from a dent. And could use a little bit of, oh, there's a tear in it right there. Just right there, tiny one. It's like he did in this piece right there. Yep, there you go. Sorry, I didn't look down and see that right there. Right there. The lens is in good shape. Dang it, little crack right there. Across the tailgate, good shape. Reflectors. Um, this has got the... Yeah, typical bed problem with this bed hitch in the middle there. But typical tailgate needs the rods in the back. Kind of done with the pliers or whatever. And that pops right open. Actually, my guy had it open for me. Clean bed is what I'm trying to show you here. Very clean, not rusty anywhere. He had it laying down to where I could take pictures, and I just walked up and slammed it. <laughs> then I remembered that. Dents right there a little bit. A little bit of patina starting in here. This is how it should look like on the other side. This side has not been dented. And a couple holes. Look right here. Right here. Must have a topper on it or something. Because there's three or four holes in it. Even the rubber. Liners are still in there. Now check this out. This thing ain't been registered since 1991. Whoo, buddy! Now going down this side, the little dings I showed you there are the main thing where he like tapped it somewhere. There ain't no real dings. There's a tiny ding there. There ain't no real dingy dings. A couple chippy dings right there. 
but it's super, super straight. Glass is good. And, man, coming down this side, look, wow, he had reflectors here too. This guy had reflectors everywhere. Hey, look at my reflection, he said. Let me reflect on this. This piece is chunked out. You can see it's all beautiful up in there too. Not rusty, man. And even by the fiberglass where everything bolts on, where you would expect all the rust. No, it's not there. Another hole here. See, I don't know what he's doing here. This has something coming up on it. Like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a smart man. I don't know. That roll bar is in great shape. Sand that thing down, spray it white. Yeehaw, buddy. Okay, roof drip rails and everything are in good shape. Um, coming around that, everything's in good shape. There's a couple dings, like a ding ding. Tiny right there. And let's just say that the body is not absolutely perfect. A little tiny ding, but it's getting pretty close. It's just not been hammered. A ding there, a ding there. Chips, what am I talking about? Chips though, I mean, the paint's pretty much patina halfway. So, you know, a ding there, a ding there. And yeah, on a truck ding there. On a truck like this, I'm being awful picky to bring that stuff up because it's just, what it is but it makes a perfect patina mobile man who buddy does it ever okay so that's your exterior let's say i've um, got these split wheels on the front that look good but it's definitely an older style wheel it takes them 16 ply or whatever kind of 7.5 16 lt tires um, tires tires running out of house and home but they do have a weight rating and they are a monstrous tire okay so that's your truck. That's the stuff. I showed you all this. I showed you the couple things. There's a split right there I showed you. Just wanted to make sure to come back up on that and make sure you see everything. Um, I can't say nothing bad about the truck. The thing is a nice truck. I'm going to do test drive type stuff and all that here when the sun goes down a bit and we can get a better look at it. Um, one owner car guy. One owner car guy.com for all sorts of pictures. 60, 70, 80 pictures. Something like that. Subscribe here on YouTube for all kinds of weekly videos. My God, this truck looks good. If you're interested, 406 546 8748. Trying to think of anything I can tell you about it other than that. As far as the exterior goes, I can't think of nothing. 440 76 Dodge Club Cab, one ton bucket seats with the console. Clarence lights, dually. Bam. That's all them things. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. and what i got here for you today is the interior and test drive video of this 1976 dodge d30 or 300 club cab now test drive will definitely be a start i'm gonna take it i god the truck runs i might take it around the parking lot or something show you it engages i've drove it around i just hate to get this ain't the kind of thing you can just drum jump in and drive to florida or something i mean it's not been ran in a long time in fact it ain't had tags on it since 91 thing fires up and runs like a dream um, we've done a little tune-up type stuff and it's definitely a good running truck um, 440 v8 um, I was told one owner but I don't know on that man it was a barn find and actually we had to get the title work took a while to get everything all in order because it was just kind of a barn find that been left outside and just not cared about for years and been in the in the barn and then outside at when we got it been outside here for the past year almost I've been I'm fighting to get the thing going for six months I think but car truck came from Ventura County up there and it's a California truck man it's nice clean it is a clean rig um, we got patina here and there I figured I'd take I always take actually a video in the evening time like this of the body to where you can see exactly what you're looking at one owner car guy one owner car guy .com, and you can see 60 80 pictures of it on there um, I just wanted you to see just how clean this thing is and then we'll look at the seats and start it up right now and stuff like that look under the hood in fact let's go under the hood first and be done with that slide and rear window I don't know if it's a factory on these things it's not a Chrysler glass I don't think that's most of the time was a added on tr thing on trucks this old I believe but not sure someone knows comment in the video below I just want to interject to say that 
a Mopar was harmed during the filming of this video. This right here, man. Just going by the trailer and just, just a little bit of a swipe. Probably the worst thing in this truck. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. But now that ding and this little ding is in it with a slight little smudge to the grill. And this may be just a slight little hair, but I don't know if I was from before with this one or if I just didn't notice. Just throwing that in because that happened. It never happens around here, but it sure did happen. Make sure and subscribe. New videos every week. And I don't know what I just did there because I, um, yeah, I popped the hood. Everything's looking good. And look at this. All the old original Mopar stickers and everything. Some of them are faded away a bit. I don't know if that's original or not. Even on the motor. I mean, this thing is clean. Look at this. The inner rubber fender wells. Rubbery, cardboardy type of a material. Kind of like roofing, actually. Look at all the original bolting there. This thing is just clean as it gets, man. Not rusted through anywhere or nothing like that. Just a light patina like on the hood. Um, that, of course, is how chrome aftermarket air cleaner gets. But just look. Just beautiful. Look at the, even the, oh my god. For a Dodge, it's just amazing that this back, it's just so clean. It's so, so clean. This stuff is a little bit moved around over time, but it's still clean. New hoses here and there. Um, new plug wire cap and rotors and all that. Coil is not new, but it came off something else and it's a good one. So, man, what do you do with a truck like this? I tell you, what do you do? Look how clean this thing is and just complete. You don't get that complete just all the time. But what do you do with a truck like this? Do you leave it like it is? These two are missing. I might have said all the factory decals. I didn't really mean that. I meant what do you see. Because um, I don't know what all would have been. But what do you do with a truck like this? Do you restore it? Or do you leave it all patinaed out and beautiful? God, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe you know. You're the one buying it, so you better know. Look, he's got the extra lock thing there. Not factory for sure, I don't believe. Maybe they offered it. Why should I say that? I don't know if it's for sure. Okay, start with the door panels. <laughs> Great condition. Pedals. Man, there ain't no wear on these pedals. There's just not. It's got trailer brakes added. Um, seats are tore up a little bit. I could take these out and have these redone so cheap. Um, I think 250 to 400 somewhere in there, he'd do them for both. And I could easily have that done. It costs some money to run them down and my guy running around. Needs a carpet kit though easy cheap thing to do now the dash in this truck look at this it's been covered up this is absolutely gorgeous dash I'm gonna have to take a picture of this side man okay got my picture like I say dash is in great shape I don't think that radio hole's been cut out it's just factory factory beautiful it says 89,000 on it and you know what I honestly do believe that this truck has 89,000 miles here's this it's a 76 there's other stuff there's another sticker on it here Dodge, Fargo, Plymouth, DeSoto. Yeah, they were collecting stuff. I think they bought AMC and Jeep and all that after this. A uh, couple holes in the dash. Screws have patinaed heads or whatever you want to say. Um, I don't know if that's original. Wow, look at that. A couple lights on it, but the truck doesn't smell like smoke or nothing. A couple holes here. Let's see. Fan works. Um, heater on the thing worked. I'm pretty sure. It takes a pump or so. I didn't even warm this thing up, man. This thing runs amazingly. Yeah, I can hear the wiper motor moving. But the wipers are unhooked. So I'm guaranteeing almost, most likely they had the wipers off for body work and then didn't follow through. And so they, um, yeah. I'm gonna show you this right now. Truck needs to work on the brakes. But I'll tell you, the brakes ain't that bad. The truck runs. Um, I might just run it around the lot for you here. It's just Friday night. Lots of people around. I don't want to break down in the middle of everywhere. Sounds like it's got an RV cam or something in it, man. It's pretty nice. 
tiny exhaust leak I can hear. I'm gonna restart it. I hear a little bit of a tiny exhaust leak kind of right back here somewhere. Maybe it's not an exhaust leak, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way this raspy muffler system sounds. Look at the roof, beautiful. All these still swing down and this piece isn't broken. We didn't clean these up, unfortunately. Um, when mirror is kind of discolored over time, it's a crack right there. Just seen that. This interior liner piece may need to be. Wow, I bet you they were aftermarket already. Look at this. No cracks in this whole foam piece at all, anywhere. When I say no cracks in the dash, there's no cracks. That's amazing. Uh, I think there is one in the glove box lid, though, that I was noticing. Don't know what that was, but it's there. Actually, there's still a screw in the other one. All this chrome trim and stuff here. You got holes for the mirrors and such. The lenses are discolored, and this end of this one is broken off. I mean, these clearance lights are the coolest, but they are a little weathered. Uh, so, beautiful truck. I'll show you the other side. And I might just bring them cars out of here and take this thing around the block. Or around the parking lot, at least. Make sure the brakes work a little bit before I do that. Um, these are chewed up a little bit just over time. They're just dry and brittle. Um, they're still there, pretty much. I mean, it's amazing how clean it is. Holes here. I don't know what they were from. Right there. there. Um, Tarpus tore up, like I showed you. Consul, is this, a, is this original to this truck? Please comment. Somebody knows. Um, seems like this is an original setup, although I'm not sure. Just not. But I shouldn't have dropped that so hard. Iron lid, man. Is it an iron lid? I don't know. It's weird. It's good. Um, this is factory, right? The 2x4s? Yeah, right. Um, so they've got this all anchored in here. Um, you might want to take it out. You might want to keep it in. I don't know. Okay. So, carpet. This part's metal. There's your crack in this piece, but not in the dash. This opens up beautifully. Man, it's so clean for the age. You just don't see a truck of this era in this shape. Chevy, Ford, or Dodge. It's just rare to find. Um, here's the underneath, underneath, <laughs> underneath of the seats to where you can maybe tell if it, man, I better check this out. There could be like thousand dollar bills in there or something. This old boy was a, uh, maybe he was a pack rat or something. Kept stuff. Okay, so, doors closed nice. This truck is clean. It's about as clean as it gets. That's your interior. That's all that. I ain't scared. I'm taking this thing around the stink. This is my parking lot. I pay rent. It's private property. This here's Arn. We're going to take it out and go around the parking lot. The brakes are good. And Oh, man. It starts so nice. Wow, wow. Okay. I got it out here. And we're going for a test drive. That's what we're doing. So... I'm only going to go around the parking lot. This is a nice truck. Okay, let's get this thing in the right gear. Let's do it to it. Like I say, the brakes work, but they are not the ready to go once. Now there's a little bit of slipping in the tranny there. When you try to go 100%, it could be a little low on fluid. Like I say, it hasn't been driven in so long. That's just something that I don't really know. Trannies are cheap enough in this year of a truck for sure. your test drive it's not as long of a test drive as usual but that's your test drive okay so that was your test drive so if you're interested give me a call Nathan 406-546-8748 
one owner car guy one owner car guy dot com uh, I'm gonna kind of wrap this up and then I will do it to it I'm gonna put this all together make sure and check it out and call me if you're interested buy this truck it's not gonna last and not only that it's cool thanks for watching have a great day or night whatever it is wherever you are one owner car guy dot com